In this video, I'm going to show you how you can design a business letterhead in Word. And this is exactly what we will achieve by the end of this tutorial. Without wasting further time, let's jump right in. Having opened Word, the first thing I'm going to do is design my header. That is the header of the letterhead. So to do that, first thing I do is go over to Insert. Then I click on Shapes. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the rectangle shape. I draw it right here. Something like this. Before I move it around, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it. So I can hold down the control key on the keyboard and press D to have a duplicate of it. So the first one, I'll just go ahead and rotate it like this. Then I move it in here. Something like this. In the next one, I select it and I go ahead and rotate it like so. Let me further rotate it. Like this. Then I go ahead and extend this. Something like that. Next, I'll make sure all the shapes are selected. And the shape format. I go over to Shape Outline, then I click on No Outline. I don't want to have the outlines. The next thing I'm going to do is add a logo for my letterhead. So I go over to Insert. I click on Pictures, then I choose this device. I have the image here. I will select it, then I click on Insert. It is too big. I go ahead and reduce the dimension like this you see that I'm trying to move it but I'm not able to move it so what I do is go over to picture format then I go over to wrap text then I choose in front of text so with this I'll be able to move it to whichever location I want awesome I'll further reduce it like this I'll reposition it later on for now let me just put it here the next thing I'm going to do is go over to insert then I choose text box. I'll just select the first one, simple text box. I can move it to whichever location I want. And I enter the name of the company. I'll reduce the text box. That is the dimension. I'll go over to home. I drop down the arrow and the font, then I'm going to go ahead and choose area black. I'll increase the size to maybe 14. I want it to be in one line. So this location is okay for me. With the text box selected, I go over to shape format, then I go over to shape field, I choose no field, shape outline, no outline. The next thing I want to do is reposition my logo and this is where I want to put it. Perfect. Maybe I can further reduce the size like this. What I do is I'll just take it up so that the bottom part of it will be in line with the name of the business. Awesome. Now that I have my logo inserted, I want the colors here to assume the same colors I have on my logo. So the first one here is going to be my blue color. So upon selecting it, I go over to Shape Format. Then I go to Shape Fill. It will be difficult to get the exact colors here. So what I do is go over to More Fill Colors. And right here, you see that I have some color code. And I'm going to go ahead and get the color code from my logo, which I already have during the creation of the logo. So the first color, I'll just paste it in since I already have it copied to my clipboard. Upon clicking aside, maybe somewhere here, you see that I have the color right here. That is the new color. I click on OK to take effect. Next, I select this one. Then I go over to Shape Fill, More Fill Colors. 
and this way I enter my color code which I've already copied to clipboard. I will just paste it in. Upon clicking aside, you see the new color. I click on OK for it to take effect. Awesome. Now I'm done with the header of my letterhead. Going down, this is where I design the footer. So the first thing I do is go over to insert. Then I choose text box. I'll just go ahead and choose a simple text box. I drag it down. I'll just click inside and I enter my text. Hit enter. Then I enter my email address. Maybe I can reposition it like this. Next, I go over to shape format. Shape fill, I choose no fill. Outline, I choose no outline. It's still selected. What I do is hold down control key on the keyboard, then I press D to duplicate it. Then I click on it, holding down the shift key on the keyboard, I'll move it to the right side so that it will be in the same line. And here will be address, that is my physical location. And then here will be my web address. So I'll just make it like this. The next thing I do is add some icons to represent this text here. So to do that, I go over to insert and I click on icons. For you to be able to use this feature, you need an internet connection. So the first one I have is phone. Hit enter. I'm going to use this. Next one is email. Hit enter. I will use this. The next one is location. I'm going to go ahead and use this. And finally, I have website. Hit enter. Perfect. So you see that I have four selected. I'll just click on insert. And they will all appear here at once. What I'm going to do is select each one of them. Then I go over to wrap text and I choose in front of text so that I'll be able to move them to whichever location I want. So similarly, I do the same thing to the rest. So if I select all of them at once, I can reduce the size. And what I do is they are still selected. I'll just select one and move them down so that I go to the bottom part of my letterhead. One after the other, I'll take them to their respective places. So the first one is phone, followed by email. Maybe I'll further have to reduce the sizes location and finally web let me select them again by holding down control key on the keyboard then i further reduce the dimension like this so i can use the arrow keys to position them i'll do this pretty quick and get back to you next i go over to insert then I go over to shapes. I choose the rectangular shape. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangular shape down here. Like this. I'll go over to align and the shape format. Then I choose align center. Next, I go over to shape outline. And I take off the outline. Now, if you take a closer look at my logo, at the back here, you see some sh blue shade. I'm going to go ahead and use that same color, which I already copied to my clipboard. With the rectangular shape here selected, I go over to shape fill, more fill colors. Then I go ahead and paste in my color code right here. Upon clicking aside, you see the new color. I click on OK to take effect. If you look closely, my address here is hanging on top. So what I'm going to do is select all of them. By going over to home, then I go ahead and choose select. I click on select objects. If I come here and drag over all of them, they will all be selected. 
And what I do is I right click on any part of it. Then I go over to group, click on group so that they will not appear as one object. From here, I can use the arrow key to move it down like this. I think this is cool. The next thing I want to do is show you how you can add text to your letterhead. You see that I have the insertion point here. So what I do is just come here, maybe where you want to begin your letter and double click. Let me zoom in a bit. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and insert a date. So I go over to insert, then I click on insert date and time. From here, you can choose whichever format you want. For this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and choose this. And I want to update it automatically such that anytime this document is opened, the current date will be inserted for me. So I click on update automatically, then click on OK. And this way it will appear. If you don't want it to be here, maybe you want it at the left side. What you can do is just click outside. Then under insert, you go ahead and insert a text box. Then you place the text box to whichever location you want. Come back here, select the date, then copy it or just cut it. Then come in here and paste. Perfect. From here, you can now adjust the text box. So let me go over to increase the size to 12. And I want to take it to this side like this. I go over to shape format, shape fill. I choose no fill, shape outline, no outline. Awesome. Now I can start my letter. Human Resources Manager. Hit enter. Adapt C properties. Tamale. And then the set. Hit enter. I'll just get some random text. Perfect. Now everything is set. And I'm done with the design of my letterhead. So that's it on how you can design a business letterhead in Microsoft Word. I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly click on the like button, subscribe if you are new here, and also enable the bell icon so that you don't miss my future videos. In the meantime, stick around to watch another letterhead design from the channel. Keep watching and I will see you in the next video.